Hi guys, my name is Fraser. I'm the founder of Yoyun Distilling Company here in Lijiang, China. In the last video, we talked about how we make gin. This time, I want to talk a little bit about how we can use some fermented wash and use that for rum and whiskey production. So right now, we haven't quite started that here at our distillery, but we designed the equipment in order to be able to be kind of multi-purpose. So this is very much a hybrid still. So, like with our gym production, everything will start here in our boiling pot. We would transfer wash from fermentation directly into the pot. We have an agitator on the back. So if we have some thick mash or if there's a lot of solids in there, they can keep everything moving so we don't get scorching on the jackets. Obviously passing it up through the helmet is great for a first stage. Um, then we can run up, we can come in through our column here, or we can bypass that directly. So if we want to do a pot still, uh, kind of single malt style whiskey, we can run directly from the top of our liner straight to our condenser. So this will work more like a Scottish style whiskey still. Or if we're looking to do uh, some sort of like American style multi-grain whiskies, even some rum that we want to clean up a little bit more, making a white rum, we can run that through our column. So our column here has eight plates. On the side of the column, you can see we have these handles here. These control plugs on the bottom of each plate so that we can control whether the plate's open or closed. Furthermore, we also have a really nice big technical meter on the top, which has some automation built into it, back to our control panel so we can set the temperature that we want to pass through very, very carefully, and that'll run on an automatic sequence. So put cooling water in. <laughs> so that Deflect Mater will run an automatic sequence to maintain the outflow temperature. So after we've gone through our column, we've come into the condenser, into the parrot, and just like when we do a gin, or even if we're trying to clean up some, some uh, neutral spirits to make some vodka, we can make our cuts. So we have ability to pull out directly from the bottom of the parrot if we need to take four shots out that we don't want to keep. Otherwise, we have our three tanks down the bottom here, which we can keep our heads, hearts and tails, etc. Again, that's all linked back to the control panel so that we can make those cuts on a semi-automatic basis with some operator interaction on the tasting to make sure that we contain the right flavors. Again, everything can be transferred back into our blending tank with RO water, then that can go off the barrel after it's gone through its processing step there. So in a nutshell, it's a somewhat complicated system that's been made a lot more simple by the good folks at Dayu with a really awesome operating system, a lot of pneumatics that stop us having to climb up the massive column behind me, and a really nice platform that allows us for consistency from batch to batch. Thanks guys.